Well, the entire Oklahoma gardening staff agrees we love toad lilies. Uh, these plants tend to surprise me each fall. They lie rather inconspicuously throughout the growing season and then explode with flowers come autumn. Now there are about 20 different species in this genus, which is Triceratus, including one of our Oklahoma proven plants, Triceratus hirta. All of the toad lilies are loved for their really unique flowers. They're sort of star-shaped, reminiscent of orchids because of the modeling uh, and the purple and white coloration. They also have really nice foliage, broad leaves, and there's a variety of sizes depending on the different cultivars and even species that we select. And we have a few of these in the garden, so we'll take a look at some of those. This plant is a cultivar of Triceratus hirta called Miyazaki, and it was selected for its shorter stature and greater arching of the branches. You can see a really nice arc right here. Um, this one bloomed a little earlier, and we're surpassing the peak bloom, but you can still see the large, beautiful flowers, still white and purple speckled. And very interestingly, if you look at the seed pods remaining from these former flowers, you can see they actually arise right out of the leaf axle of the plant. And so when it's in full flower, there's just flowers right up along the stem. Very beautiful. The next plant I have is a different species. It's Triceratus lassiocarpa. This is the amethyst toad lily. And again, we're a little past the peak bloom on this species, but I wanted to point it out because it's a really good choice for warm climates. It's a little more heat tolerant. It also could take a little bit more full sun, though I would certainly give it afternoon shade. And the name amethyst comes from the dark color to the flowers. Um, and you can see from the spent flower heads that most of these stand up above the foliage. Our last species of toad lily is Triceratus formosana. This cultivar was actually bred for the Japanese cut flower industry. Uh, this is synonymy of the Formosa toad lily. And the reason it works for cut flowers are because the flowers face upward and they're above the foliage on long stems. Now this plant is fairly immature. It will reach a mature height of about two feet. Um, it also has a nice dark green glossy foliage. Now as I mentioned the toad lilies aren't very showy in the springtime when we're all shopping for our plants. They put on their show in the fall so now is a great time to stop by your local garden center and bring home some of these beauties for your own garden.